Greetings and welcome to Personal Wine, the nation's leader in personalized wine products and accessories. Uh, the aim of this tutorial today is to provide a quick introduction, provide some tips on using the site, and present the process of creating your very own personal wine labels using our custom-made label design software that's built here right into the site. And before we get started on the label design software application, I'd like to note that up here in the header of the website, uh, regardless of what page you visit, is the handy click for live chat button and of course just above it is our 1-800 number. Uh, both of these resources are available to you uh, should you have any issues whatsoever um, from customer service to shipping questions to status of your order, pricing, and of course assistance with the personalization process. Don't hesitate to rely on these two resources that are there at your disposal on any page you visit in the Personal Wine site. Now, over here to the left is our navigation bar. Uh, we've got buy wine, so you can go in and do some shopping for wine, uh, labels, accessories, our frequently asked questions section, contact us, examples, and the blog page. Today, the aim of this video is to get you started using the personal wine label design software application. And so, we're going to jump right in by, when we mouse over the labels button here, you can see that the the text changes from gray to red. Let's just go ahead and click there. Clicking on the labels button in the header navigation, of course, launches our label design browse and select template page. This is a place where we provide all sorts of pre-designed label templates for you to use in the process of creating your own label designs. These are starter templates, if you will, and they offer up handy examples from lots of categories. Over to the left here are the two main categories of corporate and then just below we have personal. Um, below each of them are many subcategories from basic color backgrounds to thank you and then notice uh, over to the right are these corresponding label template designs that go with each category and right now when we first launched the browse and select template page we are defaulted to the birthday category. Remember that under these two main categories of corporate and personal, there are many subcategories, uh, label templates for celebrating new births and weddings and major holidays and anniversaries. Um, under the corporate heading, there are templates directed more towards corporate interests, which maybe are thanking clients or uh, hospitality for hotels. Uh, holidays, of course, are usually celebrated as well at, at many companies. Uh, they may also want to do something to celebrate certain employees or welcome new employees. So these are the various different categories under corporate and under personal. However, a great rule of thumb to remember is that although you find the occasional label template design that's totally dedicated to one subject or theme, like a label for a new baby or one featuring a birthday cake, most all of our pre-designed label templates are universal in nature. And that means you can use them for just about any subject, theme, or event. So if I click on the anniversary category down here under personal, we now see that we are browsing the anniversary section of label template designs. These are designs that have been set up with the theme of anniversary in mind. Uh, we do have this up here at the top above each label template design. You'll see that there is a name. Andalusia is the name for this one. Anniversary Roses here to the right, Blue Victorian, and so on and so forth. And I want to show you the universality of these label designs. So I'm going to click on this Andalusia label. And when I do, watch this. Presto! We are now in the label design software application itself. You can see from the header up here, it says customize your design in the, uh, the breadcrumb. Just below that, we see that label that we chose there, Andalusia. Here's the file controls that we'll use for designing labels. I want to show you again. I'm going to demonstrate the universality of this. And, and just by clicking on these bars of text, you'll see this is no longer kind of locked into one central theme. We now have this clean slate almost, if you will, of this label template here. And Andalusia is now available for us to use just about any theme we like. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you really quickly by showing you just how fast it is to turn this label uh, to take it from the anniversary category and actually make it a whole new category of its own. So what we'll do is we'll add three text fields really quickly. And let's say we want to keep it simple. 
we just got a friend. He's maybe coming back uh, from a tour of duty. So we'll say, welcome home. Let's turn our caps lock on really quickly. Welcome home. Uh, let's throw a little exclamation point in there. And then down here we'll say, turn off the caps, John Fields. And then we'll say, love Kathy and Mike. So Kathy and Mike are excited to welcome home their friend. He's coming back from a tour of duty. You know, John is, let's, let's go ahead and put his rank in here. Sergeant John Fields, and um, you know, under here, not only are we going to put love, Kathy, and Mike, let's throw another quick text line in here, and let's say, uh, how about we'll put it up here instead, we'll say saluting Sergeant John Fields, and I'm going to turn on, down below here is our show centering guide, I'm going to turn that on, just to help me center my text really quickly without the aid of any other tools. Um, I can get a pretty good feel for where I want these things. I'm going to raise this up a little bit and uh, go ahead and center this piece here. And let's go back up here really quickly and let's change the size of this font. There's a general rule of thumb in graphic design when you're using fonts, different font faces, uh, different styles of text, that you not use too many different styles of text on any one piece of literature or for instance, wine labels, invitations, things of that nature. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pick a couple so that we get a little differentiation to make it a little more pleasing to the eye. Let's go ahead and try Times New Roman. That looks pretty good. Let's see what else we've got down here. How about we do something a little more fun um, with, say, Playbill. Wow, uh, that is pretty interesting, but I'm going to have to make it a lot bigger. Let's do that over here. Okay, getting, getting a little more interesting, right? A little more interesting visually. And maybe, maybe we'll take the saluting off here. Let's just go ahead and put John up here in the middle. Uh, love Kathy and Mike, we can keep down here. I'm gonna go ahead, you know what? I'm gonna use my centering button. Make sure that my text is pretty centered. You can see that I did a decent job with just my eye, but I used my centering button to get my text more in line with the edges of my template. And presto. With a little bit of work, I quickly changed this label from being uh, the Andalusia label that was dedicated to anniversary. Well, of course, the uh, template is still originally named Andalusia. But now, as you can see, we've made this a welcome home label, welcoming home our friend John Fields. And we're saying love Kathy and Mike down here at the bottom. It's a whole new label. It's no longer about an anniversary. And we can shut off our centering guides here. And uh, we can check out the different levels of text. But we have basically created a whole new label. So I'm going to wrap up this tutorial right now, and in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys everything that I did to create this label using all these commands over here to the right. I'll show you how you can reset. Uh, we could actually reset this template right now if we wanted to, and all these other commands, and get you guys ready to go. You'll be aces at creating your own personal wine labels in no time. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching.